Game number five, ladies and gentlemen. Secluded Expanse. Match point for Ulysses. Shadowfax with no Norse left, no Ra left. Ulysses most likely going to be going in with Aranos on this map. Makes a lot of sense to be going for that. What are we going to see here from Shadowfax's side? And we see a very bold attempt here. Ladies and gentlemen, in the top of the map, playing as Aranos. His name is Shadowfax. His opponent today also playing as Aranos. His name is Ulysses, both players finding themselves hunt in the main base here to start off with. It's only four gazelle though, so 600 food start here. But both players opting to go for the hunting dogs opening on this map. If I was Shadowfax here playing against Ulysses, I don't know if I would... I, I'm not good enough, so I'm going to just go ahead and say that I'm not Shadowfax level of skill. But Ulysses as Aranos is arguably the best Aranos currently playing Age of Mythology. Uh, he has some of the best micro, some of the best uh, decision making, and is just a, a ridiculously strong Aranos player. And to be uh, opting into an Aranos war against, Ar uh, against Ulysses, it, that's got some cojones, huge cojones here for Shadowfax. Shadowfax could have gone with Zeus, could have gone with Poseidon, could have gone with Hades, could have gone with Set here, could have gone with Isis here, could have gone with Gaia here as well. I think Gaia on this map isn't isn't an awful idea against uh, against Aranos either. A lot of these gods could have been the option here, but he chose to go for Aranos. Definitely makes some sense here. We do see this line or oh, double lines on this location. It's not awful, but it's not amazing either to have that happen for Shadowfax because you have to spend the time to kill these animals. As long as you just walk over here and get the damage done onto these lions, it should be completely fine. And Shadowfax has basically finished those off and he's going to start eating this uh, this gazelle now. Eat the lion as well now as well. Should be completely fine over there as the game's going to continue along here. It's very important to split your villages up in the early game here to jump onto the, the, the secondary hunt. We also see the lions currently on top of the uh, gazelle of uh, Ulysses as well. So a very, very balanced uh, starting map here as the gazelle over here are going to be finishing up. One thing that I wouldn't mind seeing from Ulysses here is to move this citizen over to this wood line, this citizen over to this gold mine, and then these two citizens over to the, uh, to the hunt over here uh, to... We'll see if he does that. It'll be a really interesting micro micro trick or or something like that here. And we'll see how it's going to go. Meanwhile, relics not being spotted just yet, but I'm going to see what they are here as we have got the pair of gold. Oh, that's a huge relic in this matchup. Absolutely gigantic for the early game and the Titan's treasure over there. So the, uh, the, the, the lion relic gives you two golden lions, which is absolutely huge. Whereas the, the secrets of the Titans give you a cheaper Titan age, which might be a big thing as well. So we'll see how it's going to go as we do have the lion getting picked off over here. Ulysses has got a little bit more food in the bank than Shadowfax at this point. As the villagers finishing up with the gazelle over here. Shadowfax could probably have taken this villager off of wood here. This is uh, something which is a little bit more of an Aranos main kind of uh, kind of knowledge bomb, if you will. But when you when you have to go for like further hunt, walk to your second hunt over here, it's really important. And Ulysses has done it. It's really important. As we see Shadowfax going for a 5.15 advance time to take your villagers off of gold and take your villager off of wood and take it over onto food. And we saw exactly that from uh, from Ulysses. So while Shadowfax is going to have more total resources here, he's going to be advancing very, very late here in this war. Now, I don't think this is awful. I don't think this is actually that bad for Shadowfax. If Ulysses doesn't recognize it, which he might not, he might it's very easy you can look at the score and realize but if Ulysses doesn't recognize this that this is a full 35 seconds behind him to the next age then Shadowfax just comes out full advantage here the problem is that these villages are exposed and there's not a good retreat path he could chop down this wood light wood over here this palm tree and try and escape uh but there's no good retreat here for 
for, for Ulysses as we do see the counter barracks coming in the immediate Valor coming through and Ulysses is going to be moving across the map here it's a little bit slow to get in onto this this is the meta in this matchup uh, to, to value your oracles in the main base uh, in order to get yourself a hero citizen but Shadowfax isn't playing meta here so we'll see how it's going to go because Shadowfax or oh, he's moved his oracles across the Bring the oracles back. You need to... Oh, dear. This is going to be very, very scary here for Shadowfax. He might end up losing a citizen here because there's Shockwave. There's everything else behind this. And we'll see the, the citizens are now equal as well as the mana. Going to be getting taken down here. We'll see if the uh, citizens do get spotted on this position. Scouting around over here as Shadowfax is going to have to make a break for it here. The Oracle does spot them. The citizens jump into the mana here. And we'll see if they're going to be able to retreat here. But the army is coming through very, very fast. Ulysses has got a huge advantage here. What can Shadowfax do? He has moved over here with his Oracle Scout to spot the Lions on this position. There's the shock wave coming in shadowfax could shockwave his opponent here and make a retreat here use the promethean here to kind of speed walk the units here looks like shadowfax's citizen will fall over here move the citizen shadowfax you can speed walk the citizen out of these kind of situations but ulysses gets a, a pick here and has the villager lead now. So we, we see double counter barracks now through four shadow facts. So double counter barracks against the uh, the Mermillo kind of uh, term of spam here. We'll see if that's going to work because all of the food is out. So double double food or double wood production here makes a lot of sense. But advantage Ulysses in the early stages of this game. Trying to pick off a, a term here gets a little bit of damage done. Ret returns a little bit of damage as well here. As the term are going to be moving across the map here. All units coming through here. We see Shadowfax darting around here as best as he possibly can as the, uh, the Oracles are going to get picked off uh, one by one here as now Ulysses is going to be having a, uh, a very stern look at this gold mine over here. He's got all the advantages of the world. Double Promethean already out as well as this citizen pulls back. Uh, we will have another Valor to be used here as well as this mana does get up. 77 population right now for uh, Ulysses to 53 population for Shadowfax as he's trying to snipe these units down as best as he possibly can. The term are going straight after the hero citizen here as he's trying to garrison micro as best as it can. We will be seeing the mana going down here as well as Ulysses is absolutely unrelenting in this game, taking down these Mermillo heroes as well as we see the Promethean coming through here. The mana drops as Shadowfax is now back down to 52 of, 30, 50 of 35 population. We see the villager getting taken down here the citizen goes down over here and shadowfax cannot hold on in this game he makes the mistake in the early game of not going for the 430 or at least a delayed 430 he doesn't retreat his citizen back home in time he gets completely caught out by this forest obviously a really really unfortunate forest placement here but could have played around it by leaving this location earlier to keep his citizen alive sat in his base played defensively but it just doesn't end up working here for shadow facts and he does admit shadow facts did play in uh the uh in the void tournament the shadow of the void tournament if you guys are wondering there was a a, a tournament that was played today called shadow of the void on the uh on the void maps by uh uh, a proper gentleman. So I think that was all done by a, a bunch of community members and uh, AWOL Iron Maiden. But uh, an absolutely crazy uh, series here. Ulysses wins, goes onto the onto the finals to play uh, to play Nullis. So we have a Nullis versus uh, a Nullis versus what do you call it? Nullis versus Ulysses final series. Shadowfax asking the questions here. Uh, how he got that. I, I, I don't want to tell him. I'll tell him afterwards. But <laughs> Shadowfax is going to be playing against Soup in the third and fourth place matches. Most likely going to be on Sunday next week. Uh, thank you all for uh, tuning in today. Hope you guys enjoyed enjoying the tournament. The finals are going to be absolutely crazy. If you guys did enjoy it, please consider the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.